In the previous video, you might have observed that I made modifications to the crank shop. The crank shop, if you detach the piston from it and subsequently rotate the gearbox, it tends to vibrate excessively. That's the reason I initially considered removing it first. I'll completely eliminate it to ensure there is no vibration. After that, there is already a mounting on this plate. According to the engine, I'll leave it as it is and I'll make the modifications on top of it. Now, this is the gearbox. How will the gearbox run now? So for this, I have thought that I will... I am planning to utilize this 26cc engine. At present, there exists an issue with it due to the fact that the mount solely delivers torque in a straightforward linear direction. Nevertheless, when we proceed to install it in this manner, it will not remain linear and consequently, it will become damaged. Furthermore, the attachment in question has also developed some faults, so we will proceed to make several modifications to it. We will design and create an attachment that will enable it to synchronize effectively, and subsequently, the gearbox will be restored to a fully operational condition. So indeed, this is the video for today. Taking into account the engine's mounting holes, I have fabricated two attachments to facilitate its mounting onto another structure. This is one of those instances. This particular one and with its assistance, I am able to mount it virtually anywhere. My illustration is finished. This is the housing and within it is the shaft that will secure the clutch and this is the locking mechanism. While preparing for the 20th, I intentionally had it slightly rotated to ensure it would possess an evenly distributed space. Subsequently, I meticulously cut this plate to fit it appropriately. I also had the pipe rotated and I carefully adjusted the plate so that it could seamlessly fit. Then later on, we will fill in the welding here, but prior to that. I need to weld the bolt in a manner that makes the process more manageable, ensuring that it remains perfectly perpendicular as well. I will insert this bolt in a specific way, then proceed to cut it from this point, weld it at this location and subsequently it will fit in seamlessly. It will fit perfectly. Therefore, for the welding process, I am planning to utilize this chuck because it will assist significantly. It ensures that it remains tightly secured to maintain its perpendicular alignment.
Its inner diameter and outer diameter have both been completed and it is perpendicular to it. Therefore, everything is completely prepared. Moreover, I also acquired a plate and meticulously squared it and then made a mark that is adequately deep here. I have just positioned it for marking to ensure that I can weld it perfectly perpendicular. Let's proceed with the welding for this now. So I have brought it by rotating it and now I need to install bearings into it. I will insert these bearings two times. Subsequently, we will proceed to install it. I apply a bit of heat to facilitate the easy insertion. of the bearing. I have meticulously set it up. There are two bearings involved, with one bearing positioned here and another bearing situated in the rent, which is slightly visible from this point. However, a complication emerges when I attempt to insert it inside. I permitted it to rest. It's extending slightly outwards in this area. Perhaps I will trim this section and solely this segment will persist. Let us determine if it is sufficiently adequate, then there should be no issue. Now let us proceed to assemble it. I have selected a particular one that will fit here in a manner that it will acquire some space. Because there is already this space here, therefore allow it to experience this. I currently possess something that can temporarily hold this for the time being, which I plan to improve upon later. However, for the moment, just hold it in this manner because there is a space available here, all right? Therefore, it is crucial to conduct a test on this one time. Before proceeding with any other actions, let's ensure we test this once and then move forward. We will comprehend what actions to... take with the foundational work. Is this functioning properly? Mm -hmm. 